I'm Michelle Beauchamp, owner of The Champ Group and executive director on the John Maxwell team. I'm your host for Women Lead TV, brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. Our show is called Crossing Bridges, where we focus on women in business and we identify exactly what the show's called. Steps that we took to overcome obstacles and survive challenges so that we could get from one side of the bridge and cross to the other. I am excited to bring to you our guest today. You are in for a treat. She is a marketing expert and a complete awesome business owner. Her name is Cindy Goss. Cindy, thank you so much for saying yes to us today. And Cindy's company is called Propel Business Solutions. So just the name itself, Propel, already tells you that you're in for a treat. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you for much. joining us. And Pleasure. so what I wanted to is first tell the audience that you have a lot to celebrate because you are entering year 10 of being in business. That's right. Now, recently, I saw some statistics from SBA, which has some alarming numbers. 50%, 5-0% of businesses fail within the first five years. And then by the time they get to 10 years, 66% don't make it. So Cindy, only 34% of businesses make it to 10 years. And you've got 10 years coming up. So I want to start off by you sharing with us so the audience can know what is Propel Business Solutions? What do you do? And then we'll go from there. Great. Thank you so much for having me, Michelle, today. Um, every opportunity I can get to help women who are in business, especially those just starting a new venture, it's always a welcome treat for me to be able to do that. So thank you for that privilege awesome. today. Propel Business Solutions is a full service branding and marketing firm. And, and we believe that integrating all the various elements of a marketing program is key to a company's success. For instance, we're known for our strategy, our messaging, how we help companies separate themselves from their competition. Mm -hmm. And we work with about 90% professional service firms and about 10% nonprofit. Okay. So we're an industry very, very, very diverse in our industry. And how we work with that is we actually build top notch websites, we build social media campaigns that are very, very um, effective and results driven, and we do videography and all the things that impact a brand in a big way. So that's what we're all about, okay. and, and as I said, we believe that integrating all that is key to success instead of having disjointed right. types of messaging and disjointed types of many players in the mix so that the brand is diluted. Okay, so you, so. Help, you help your clients with consistency then? Correct. It's okay. all about consistency. Okay. It's all about keeping the message the same mm -hmm. and strong and for each target client's audience, mm -hmm. whoever their ideal clients may be. Okay. Thank you. So, Cindy, 10 years. That's huge. <laughs> help us understand, because I'm sure it hasn't been all smooth sailing. That's true. So, help us understand what's, what obstacles have you encountered and then what steps did you and your team take so that you could cross the bridge from where you started to where you are now? Well, that's a really interesting question, Michelle, um, because I, I, against many skeptics in forming the company back in 2008, when, when mm. the greatest recession of, of mm. the U.S. was about ready to hit, mm -hmm. um, I went ahead and formed the company feeling and believing that uh, companies that had devalued their marketing or companies that had not been focused on their marketing and branding would have no other choice. With except to do that in this time. And so I interviewed 30 plus of my CEO network friends. That was smart. And I said, tell me in this marketplace, in this crazy economic time, what would you do or what would you want to see from an, a branding or a marketing company in the services? Mm -hmm. And it was an array, of, uh, a, an array of answers that I got. But we listened closely and then we developed our services around that time. Over time, as the economy's healed, we've then, of course, now done more creative things because there's more dollars out right, there right. with professional services. Come, uh, this is law firms and CPA firms and people that, that, that are typically kind of in their own bubble um, and don't see a way to differentiate themselves. Okay. So okay. We've, we've really been, been blessed to be able to have now a very wide mix of clients in various industries. That's awesome. You know, one thing that I learned from you just now that I think the audience can really pick up on is you asked a lot of clients, a lot of people, mm -hmm. 30 plus, 
and then you listened. Mm -hmm. So that directed you to put together the kinds of programs that in a tough economic time, they knew would matter to them. Right. That so was, that's that important. Was, that was that's very, a good lesson. Very critical. And I'm pleased to say that, you know, we haven't had one non-profitable month since starting our firm. Wow. Which is amazing. That's and, amazing, Cindy. Um, that has to do with the kind of partnerships that we form. We we form the right kind of partnerships with technology partners and others that do high end um, uh, marketing that that our core team maybe didn't have the expertise to do. So we've now built this very well rounded team of top talent that's helped us to achieve these goals. So the other thing I heard you say that I learned too is we don't have to have all the answers. That's for sure. So you made sure that you partnered and associated with people who could complement what you are working to do for your business and for your clients. That's business. right. That's absolutely right. Awesome. Yes. Good. Now, here's another question. As a leader, you have to be able to see more. I mean, you got to have a big vision. Mm -hmm. And you have to be able to see before. You, you mm -hmm. look ahead, mm -hmm. and, and you did a great job with that because to start <laughs> a marketing company in the recession was bold. So I would say an adjective that I would describe you as, <laughs> as being bold and courageous. So as you look toward the future, Cindy, like let's say the next year and then the year after that, what are you foreseeing that, that needs to be done for your business and helping your clients succeed as well? Well, in terms of the next 10 years, technology moves so quickly, as we all know. And in a global economy that we're in right now, we have to be on the forefront of the next thing that's going to take a digital marketing strategy and a campaign to the level of being able to constantly produce results for our clients. Uh -huh. So we have to be on the forefront of what's happening next. We have to be skilled and learned in that. And we have to work closely, again, with our partners who aren't looking at things the way they are today, but are looking forward for the next three to five to 10 years of how to build campaigns that will help our large companies position them well for the next wave of technology. Um, I think the bigger question that you're asking is like, what should our clients be focusing on? Like what kind of mm -hmm. things do we, we ask our clients? It's very important for our clients to know their demographics, mm -hmm. their sociographics, their technographics. So not only what age bracket they're in, you know, what, what cultures they, they come from and, and what type of products they sell within that, it's more than that now. It's, 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 it's behavioral. It's why they buy things, what makes them want to purchase someone's services over another service. And then it's technographics. How do they want to be communicated with? What kind of devices are being used and will be used in the next 10 years? So there's a lot to anticipate and, so, and to envision. So that's, that's a new one. I mean, the psychographics we get, the demographics we get, but the technographics mm -hmm. now, and I will share with you in true transparency, that's an area that I have to continue to, <laughs> to, work, work, to work on. So how, does, how do business owners and how do leaders continue to pursue that then? What, what do they need to do mm -hmm. so that they can stay in touch with, and take the action required to get to the next phase of their business? I think it's internal and external. So okay. they have to work with their, their sales teams, their marketing people in the organization, and have them really be in tune and keyed in to what the clients are wanting and how they want to be communicated with. For instance, in the um, millennial and in the Gen Z uh -huh. market that will be coming up in the demographics that will be coming forward, they're going to be far less interested in websites that have any content on them at all. Mm. They're going to be very, very much about being entertained as mm. we are in such a, a social media type environment. They're going to want to see uh, more visuals, more videos to tell the story of why mm. they should buy from a company or not buy from them. And so we have to be poised and ready to handle that. Where there are some still in the baby, we have about six generations in the workplace yeah, right now. Yeah, it's pretty awesome six, right now. Six generations. Right. So the baby boomers still are saying, I'll get into the technology world, I'll do this, but I'm going to stay on Facebook. And Facebook happens to be the fastest growing 60 plus market oh. segment oh. out there. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so it just all depends on a client needs to really understand who they're talking to, who are their ideal clients, how to talk to them, and what means to talk to them. And the other thing is about the messaging. The messaging's got to be teed up, just right, 
for the client that they want to appeal to. So there's just different, and that is so, so important today. If the message doesn't send out, if it isn't different, if it sounds like ho-hum, ho-hum, mm -hmm. it's going to get passed over. So marketing firms have to be very adept at listening to their clients, listening to who they want to have as their clients, and telling a story in the way that that demographic responds to them, uh -huh. if that makes sense. That makes sense, and it's also, it's, it's kind of scary that we have to be so on top of things. I mean, it's not just about knowing our craft right. anymore. Right. We have to be so in tune to so many different elements. That's right. And you've done such a phenomenal job at that, Oh, thank Cindy. you. you. Thank have. you. You've really thank done you very a great much. job. It's and been a lot of work. Sometimes I wonder why. <laughs> I sometimes ask myself, you know, the corporate job that I came from right. was sort of like, great thing, lots of perks, and sometimes I say, what have I done? Right, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? <laughs> but then in looking back, it's exactly where I needed to be. There you go. And, and I wouldn't trade anything for having my own business. I encourage all women who are feeling that nudge to act on it. And you know what, with the information that you've shared today, I'm sure that you have given people that further nudge to be able to just go ahead and take that leap because it's easy to stay in the comfort zone. That was me as well. Um, and it, it takes a lot of courage and, and it takes a lot of blessings. And you and I know that we give the, the glory to God for that. That's exactly and, right. And, and that's what gave you the determination to go ahead and take that leap. That's true. And I have to, I have to give credit to, to Jesus who was, ha, has been the one at the wheel. Um, and the times <laughs> that I wanted to give up, I just remembered that I had somebody fighting the battle for me. So I didn't need to kind of turn and run. I could stay in the game. <laughs> that's awesome. And so I'm really glad you did. I want to make sure before we go that people know how to get in touch with you, Cindy, because you've sure. given some great information today in terms of steps we need to take to cross the bridge and actions that we need to take so that we can be competitive because it's all about beating the competition and increasing that market share. And, That's right. And, and you're right, it can be kind of tiring, but it can be so rewarding when we get it done. Very so true. So people who are wondering, I probably need to take a look at some of my marketing. <laughs> Where can they find you at Propel Business yes, Solutions? Yes, well, we're located in Mission Viejo, California, and um, we can be best best uh, located on our website at www.propelbusinesssolutions.com. And there you can call us, you can email us. There's many different ways to get a hold of us okay. um, and, and our team, and, and we'd be happy to serve you. And again, I'm very grateful that you would have me today. Thank you for the privilege of being here. And I know that you, Michelle, are one of the most incredible executive coaches I've ever run into in my oh, career. And you, I Cindy. can promise you that we will continue to do mutual referrals and, and uh, to tell all about what you do well is the same. Thank you so much. And coming from you, that means a lot. And so I'm just, I feel blessed that we have this opportunity to, and you and I are both focused on helping other people make a difference. And so I love that about, about where, where we're both going. So Cindy, I wish you the most success to cross the bridge again. What's your next bridge? What's your next bridge? I think the next bridge is to do more behavioral marketing and marketing automation and the type of marketing that really focuses on what clients are motivated by to buy and to, to, and to purchase and, and build that into an automated system. Okay. And I'm going to stay connected with you because I need to understand <laughs> <laughs> I need to understand that as well. So for you and the audience, we thank want you. to thank you so much for, for joining us today. And we want to make sure that if you decided that it's time for you to get your marketing taken care of, that you know how to get in touch with Propel Business Solutions, www.propelbusinesssolutions with an S dot com. We are happy that you tuned in. We'll see you again. Until then, remember, our show, Crossing Bridges, is all about women in business helping us understand and cross the bridge from where we are to where we want to be. We're Women Lead TV, and we're brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. Music